as you can see in the scene. So in November, they had a, a little surprise set up for him through Bridgestone. Lauren. Lauren, good to see you, Lauren. Nice to meet you. Bree, nice to meet you. Bree? Pleasure to meet you, Bree. They drove down to the Port St. Lucie area. They thought they were just going down there to play some golf for the weekend, but the man himself, Tiger Woods, rolled up on them. But you're neutral, hence it's going to come down more square. Internally? I'm screaming. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. Externally, best day ever. <laughs> My role, I'm still the assistant coach at FAM. You're in Southwood where FAMU practices. My workout with them in the mornings, I'll practice with them in the afternoon. So when you're putting, do you feel like you're hitting this part of the ball? Talk about your experience when you uh, went down to Jupiter to meet Tiger. What was your like first initial thoughts? First initial thoughts was, you know, I got the chance to meet the GOAT. How about you? How did you get to this team? The biggest thing I took away from meeting Tiger was work ethic. I've always taken the approach that I'm going to get incrementally better. Each and every day, I have another opportunity for me to get a little bit better. Pretty much put it in perspective that if you want something, you got to go get it. I make sure that each and every day, I have 1,000 contacts with the club. Birchstone has always been committed to growing the game of golf. They have been instrumental in my career. There's rotation in there, mm -hmm. but it's just made I probably couldn't have a, I've accomplished the things that I've been able to accomplish without their commitment. Brought you across the line, which dumped you under. I think the guys took it to heart, used what he said as motivation. There's a part of you that believes that you could be like it one day. Bridgestone's stepping in big. They're starting to open up doors that we never had before at HBCU programs. Their event that they had, the Collegiate Bridgestone Invitational. The winner of the event was able to come here and spend a day at Sawgrass. We are at TPC Sawgrass and we're kind of doing a workshop today. We won the HBC Invitational at TPC Sugarloaf and that's how we got here. I'm Joe, I'm the Operations Manager at the Performance Center, and our goal here is to help people get better at golf, regardless of skill level. That's what we do here, and we kind of build it from the ground up, so we're happy that you're here, and we're hoping that we're going to be able to help you do the same. We have a tournament on Sunday, so I'm going to apply the things that are telling me here. We're going to go play the stadium where the players are at. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous, you know. Caddy, uh, do you have any advice? Hit it in the hole. Hey, we have a great day. We played a, one of the best courses. It was really fun to play. It was really good greens to play. Or, take a video? Take a video for him? Yeah, just hit, hit, the, just hit the green. Hit the green. Soft on the iron shots, but really bouncy on the chipping. Really good challenge today to play this course. What really matters to me today, I have fun with my teammates. But I'm always grateful for the opportunity to play this court. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bridgestone, for supporting us. Thank you, Bridgestone, for the opportunity. Thank you, Bridgestone. <laughs> Out here at FAMU's driving range on campus. I'm excited for Sawgrass. Get my foot in the door and maybe win a couple of events. We'll get some putts in and then um, we'll have some of the guys do some games with me. I'm just excited to have finally have a full season on the APGA Tour. Hey, we're going to go for it. All right, thank you. So excited for the first day at TPC, you know. So we're at TVC Sawgrass for the APGA practice round. Kick off of the spring season for the APGA. This is the first event of the season and hopefully we can get off to a good start. I'm really thankful for the opportunity from Bridgestone. It's my second time playing TPC Sawgrass. I never thought I'd be able to play here again. Today is, I mean, it's gonna be like reminding myself, we played so hard more than the championship course, so I have some experience and good experience actually on this course. I'm feeling better about it. You got 179. Right? I appreciate it. After all, good caddy. Good caddy. Yeah. I'm favorite left side. Alright, cool. 
What really matters for me is just to have fun. I think we got the jitters out of the way for the most part. I'm comfortable now, comfortable with my swing, with the work I put in the off season. So the goal is just to compete, man. Keep a level head and try to do the best I can. It's a little uphill. Is that it right there, rolling like that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it comes back from there. I'm coming in like full swing, you know? Give it my best shot, have fun at the same time, and see how it goes. You don't get this many opportunities to play at Sawgrass, so just try to lay back, have fun, enjoy my, uh, my dad and my uncle being out here this week. There it is. I'm so proud of him. You know, he's worked really, really hard on his game. Last year was a really steep learning curve. He started mid-year, only played about six months or so. I has to get used to the travel, the schedule, the practice. But I think once he got that down over the first two or three tournaments, he really honed in and had a really successful season. Now I think he's finding his groove. Thought I hit it well for the most part. Front nine, I think I was picking better targets. I don't think I missed the greed on the front nine. I was just able to put myself in spots off the tee and then into the greens that were just easier for me to be aggressive on putts. Got to the back nine, started pulling it a little bit, trying to fight back. A couple bad shots down the stretch. A couple par holes that I couldn't make par on that I made bogey on. Kind of keep the same game plan. Uh, I just got to make some better swings. I played so bad today. I've actually shot 83. The driver was off, the irons were off, the padding is off. And the chip thing is off, so it's, it was like very hard for me, like everything was off today. Then when I go back to bed, just forget about everything today, then tomorrow is another day. Start again. Let's try again tomorrow. I want to shoot some underpart today, for sure. I mean, I feel like I've been working on other things, so if I shoot underpart, it's just gonna bring me back, my memory back, you know, put my head straight. That's that's my goal. I just need to shoot that number, which will give me confidence to, you know, bring my memories back. Next on the team, from Uganda, please welcome Joe Baselain. I played 81 today. I didn't play good at all. The course is playing so tough. The course is cold and the fairways are kind of like soggy. And the greens, oh my God. They're pretty fast today, so it's, it's pretty tough. Shot 79 again. Fighting the hooks a little bit. I gotta hit more greens and be able to score, but it's a tough golf course, windy conditions today. Still gotta be better, you gotta be more consistent and got a lot more work to do these next couple weeks. Working on a few things in my swing, but still doesn't have much of an excuse for today. The mindset going into the next few weeks is just, I'm gonna continue to stay positive, try not to get too down on myself. It's the first event, got a lot of golf left to be played for the rest of the season. You gotta work even harder now, so I gotta put the foot on the gas pedal a little bit more. Right now I'm halfway in my rookie season. The rookie season is hot. I'm almost there getting to like the pro level. Next few months I'm gonna go work out more, focus on my weaknesses. Work on the stuff that had like made me play bad and get everything straight. I'm about halfway through my rookie season on the APGA Tour and I'm just gearing up for these next events coming up in the spring, taking what I learned here and hopefully uh, play well these next few events to kind of get the ball rolling.